What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Terrifier 3. We will be talking about Chucky Season 4 and we'll be talking about Scream 7. So just to kick this off here with Terrifier 3, Variety reported a few days ago, I think it was on May 1st, that Art the Clown is returning to theaters sooner than expected and just in time for spooky season and we got this first look new image from Terrifier 3 of Art the Clown. Looks amazing. Cineverse and Bloody Disgusting changed the release date for Terrifier 3 to October 11th, moving it up two weeks from its original release date of October 25th. Despite the film being released close to Halloween, the story takes place during Christmas. According to Cineverse, Art the Clown is set to unleash another round of chaos on the uns unsuspecting residents of Miles County as they peacefully drift off to sleep on Christmas Eve. We're so excited to bring the next Terrifier to theaters this fall. Just in time for the Halloween season, said Phil Falcone, who we know is one of the film's producers. Terrifier 3 will deliver everything the fans expect and more with Art the Clown taking things to the next level. We can't thank our fans enough for their support and for making us believe we made something truly special. Now, I've talked about some of the rumored things you could expect to see in this film, such as a young Sienna, a flashback with Sienna and her dad, the correlation perhaps between Sienna, her dad, Art the Clown, some ties to a superhero that he liked to draw and that's where this angel warrior that she dressed up as in the sequel was born from all of that is potentially going to appear in terrifier 3 along with some professor professor orton i think his name was talking about the winter solstice all that stuff is going to be confirmed sooner rather than later i trust and an alleged bar bar fight that i've heard takes place in the film we'll just have to see what all comes of terrifier 3 what do you guys think about it moving up are you excited for terrifier 3 let me know why or why not do you not care for terrifier 3 is it too violent to, for your taste let me know all that down below next thing we're going to jump into here is going to be chucky so chucky season four is being decided on as we speak and blumhouse has even joined in on the campaign launched at the end of last week's episode for fans to make their voices heard by calling the number that appeared on screen at the end of that finale. Fiona Dorf gave some comments to Showbiz recently hyping up the season if it happens. She said Nika is hell-bent on getting what she deserves and will do anything she can to right the wrongs of the universe. If season four comes, shit gets even crazier. The pitch he told me, I'm assuming she's talking about Don. The pitch he told me on my birthday and I was howling in a restaurant, it was so good. I don't know for particular characters who will be back and what, but I know Chucky will be back. The season is so, so good. I hope we can do it. Now, Brad, her father, of course, has also echoed these sentiments saying it could be the best season by far. And Fiona did put out a recent clip on Instagram telling people to, again, call that number that was highlighted at the end of the episode. And she just seems very excited for what they have cooked up for season four. My issue was this. I love Fiona. I love Nika. Like I stated, I think she's one of the best characters we've had added to the franchise since it returned in 2013. I want to believe this hype. I just can't. Season three of Chucky is arguably at times worse than Seed of Chucky. I've seen some of you even say it's worse altogether. My inability to trust this comes down to a word I use constantly on my channel, execution. What Brad and Fiona are reading may be absolute fire, but how that translates to the screen may be complete boo-boo, dookie. Nika's treatment is growing very tiresome in this show. It all comes down to this show's presentation, not only of Nika, but everything and how it's executing itself. Nika was supposed to get her revenge in season three, I thought. That was hyped up at one point before season three aired. And that ended up just being, hey, Tiff, I caught 12 on you. Now you're going to rot in a cell. Oh, wait, now I'm going to spend the rest of the season off screen until your death date. And oh, shocker, here's another twist. I'll chase you out of the prison as you get the upper hand on me yet again. So Nika just looks inept at this point, taking L after L after L after L after L when she goes against Tiffany and still coming back for more. Her credibility in being able to take out and conquer this villain is becoming hard to believe and follow because of the way these L's are being presented to me as a viewer. And these L's are so poor that the W Nika inevitably gets won't even feel sweet probably in comparison to all of this stuff. It's really unfortunate. I hope that Chucky season four, if it happens, is something that blows season three out of the water because I do think that season three is the weakest out of the three seasons that we've got. My official ranking still would be season two over season one season one of course right after and then season three last so hopefully everything will go there in their favor 
for this fourth season. I personally will say I prefer them to go back to the movies at this point. That's what I would prefer. The ability to juggle a movie and the TV show after what happened with season three, I'm not excited for it. I'll give it a chance. Anything that comes out Chucky wise, I'll give it a chance because I'm a diehard fan of Chucky. I've been a part of I've been a part of the fandom this long. I'm not going to lose any interest in Chucky altogether ever. I don't see. I have to see it through to the bitter end. So now I'm going to shift gears into season seven, not season seven, but Scream seven. Lay off Chucky a bit. Scream 7 is expected to shoot this summer. Casting is 100% underway as well because Nev Campbell confirmed it in her People magazine sit down she just had. She started off by reminiscing on how Sidney Prescott had been in her life for almost 30 years at this point and how they have some cast coming back. So that's confirmation on casting being underway and that there are indeed returning stars coming. Of course and sadly none of them we should expect to be the core four I'll even throw in Hayden Pantier for that matter. If she's back, then she's just back. I don't think Hayden Kirby will be back, though. It seems safe to assume that going off of Variety saying that Courtney is in talks, Patrick Dempsey's rumblings of involvement, which, again, he allegedly turned down Bridget Jones 4, which shoots this month so he could commit to Scream 7 and return as Mark Kincaid, I would argue that it is safe to assume some of those returning stars Nev addressed is undoubtedly going to be Gail and Kincaid. Story was already reportedly going to involve Sydney's family so it would make sense for her husband to be involved along with the kids like we've also heard they will be again allegedly the three leads that Daniel has reported on some of the context behind that could be this babysitter character this nanny that Sydney has her and her friends are these three new leads these young something 20 year olds I would imagine now I did want to say while it was also never confirmed I've now heard the Halloween trilogy star is not going to be joining Scream 7. Carrie Russell, however, seems to still be on the table. So for those of you who want Carrie Russell to sign, if her schedule with Diplomat will allow, then she's going to sign if all of this ends up being true. Just a random thought also in response to the Halloween trilogy star being out. What if Lauren Graham, who originally was supposed to be Kate in Scream 4, joins this project as the Karen character rumored to be part of this, part of this screenplay? It wouldn't be too out of the realm of possibility that they double back on a few folks who couldn't commit to some of the past screen projects. But what do you guys think about all this? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.